Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back to Real Macroeconomics and Investing. Let's continue this um, little series that I'm making where uh, we kind of merge the markets and relationships and kind of put them together, life lessons, um, because there's a, there's a lot of similarities, okay? And um, I hate to break it to you, but anybody that trades, you are in love with with a narcissist and if you don't understand that then you're screwed okay why is it a problem not understanding that you are trading with a narcissist because you trade with feelings okay narcissists don't give a shit about your feelings okay you are seeking the market's love it's going to give you money, it's going to give you status, it's going to give you validation, right? And that's that. That's what you're craving from the markets. That's why you're doing it. Uh, to a certain extent, I would also argue that it's also giving you freedom. Freedom from your boss, freedom from your wife, freedom from anybody. Because once you put money in an account, you have the freedom to go out and do whatever the fuck it is that you think is right. And that feeling is very powerful, right? Everybody wants freedom. So, you have freedom, you have feelings, you want love from the market, right? Validation, you want status, you want money. And the market is going to shit all over you, okay? Um, so, you need to learn how to deal with a narcissist you have to become a super empath i don't know if you ever heard that before first time i heard it but for whatever it means <laughs> let's just pretend that it's true okay a super empath empathetic person um, has the narcissist tendencies within them uh, at first, the super empath um, gets kind of screwed because they are uh, empathetic and they're they're in a relationship thinking that the other person is normal. They haven't figured out they're a narcissist yet, uh, so they kind of get screwed. All right, fair enough. Eventually, though, the super empath figures it out, and then the narcissist qualities within him or her come out and then there's a clash of the titans right so you need to become a super empath where you can start sensing what the narcissist or in this case the market is doing independent of your feelings or whatever right it has to be totally objective you just see those little small subtleties and then you go out and you start dancing with the, with the narcissist. Narcissist against narcissist. The super empath has uh, a great ability to mirror the narcissist. And the narcissist eventually uh, is either going to bow out or um, is going to just, you know, say, okay, touche. That's it. <laughs> right? So... I, I know this is probably new to some of you, me saying narcissist, right, and super empath, fighting and whatever. Um, I know to the old timers it is because to me I was like, oh, what the fuck is a narcissist? The bitch left me. <laughs> I left her or whatever. <laughs> and that's it. Well, no, you're a narcissist for doing that. No, you're human. <laughs> but whatever. That's, that's the way they push it on YouTube today, I'll, I'll go with that, that's fine, whatever, um, but anyway, so uh, in order for you to become a super narcissist, you need to educate yourself, you need to educate yourself on how to read a chart, a plain chart, right, you need to educate yourself on macroeconomics, on how money works, you need to educate yourself on all the uh, information that comes out, the economic data, um, which is overwhelming really to be honest with you but eventually as you practice and you learn 
um, and educate yourself, you start picking up on those little subtleties um, and, 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 and you start to sense what the market is doing. Uh, but you need to come down to patreon.com slash real macro in order to learn that stuff. And it takes time, okay? Uh, it doesn't come easy. And don't forget, guys, like and subscribe uh, so more people can learn how to deal with markets, or in this case, the narcissist, uh, and how to become super empaths, how to become objective, how to do proper analysis, uh, whether it be, you know, stocks, cryptos, whatever the, whatever the case may be, okay? Now, the narcissist, the market, uh, is going to make you feel good at times, especially in the beginning, right? Um, it's going to make you feel, again, freedom. It's going to give you some money occasionally, uh, and it's going to be like, okay, I almost got this. All right, the next trade is going to be even better. Maybe sometimes you'll get a string of two, three good trades, uh, and everything is great, and you think you're in love, or you think you know what the hell you're doing. Um, and eventually, what's going to happen is you're going to start losing your money. So now you've invested your time, you've invested your money, right? It's not easy to leave a narcissist or this love affair. <laughs> yeah. So what do you do? You go right back to it. Seeking approval, validation, money, greed, status, all these things. Because now you're even more invested because you lost your money and you want to get it back. Not only do you want to get it back, but you want to make some more, right? Uh, you want that, you're craving that victory over the market. But I'm telling you, if you trade with vague hunches and feelings, and I read the EIA report, and I read this report, and, you know, this guy said this, and that guy said that, and I'm going to follow this guy, and that guy, and this guy, and I'm going to read this, and then that's, that's an illusion of analysis. That's not going to work. It hasn't worked for anyone else. It's not going to work for you. You're going to think that, well, <clears throat> you know, I just... I haven't mastered it yet. I got to follow this guy and that girl and, and this one and I got to read this and, you know, and you get sucked in. You are overloaded with information. You can't decipher what is valid, what is not valid, right? Um, you can't even start to focus on how to pull out of this mess because essentially what you're doing is gambling. Uh, and the market just doesn't care. They'll give you the finger. They'll go down. They'll go up. They'll whipsaw you. They'll give you some money occasionally, um, make you think that you're in love and it loves you back. <laughs> and eventually, you're going to blow yourself out, right? So again, you want to learn how to do it the proper way. You want to set your expectations correctly. You want to learn the, the charting, the macroeconomics, money, how to deal with it, how to how to invest it properly, come down to patreon.com slash real macro, and uh, I can help you do that. Okay? All right, guys, that's it. Thank you very much. And don't forget to come to uh, Trading View uh, and join me there. You can see my work. It's all public information. I'm not going to give you everything, but uh, there's a lot of information on there. And you can see my calls. They're time stamped by a third party. And uh, proof is in the pudding. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Take care. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.